these are the beasts that go bump in the night. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 scariest movie monsters. For this list, we're ranking frightening monsters from the movie worlds of horror, science fiction, and other genres. Those creatures that haunt our nightmares, regardless of whether they're born monstrous or are created through some accident or act of nature. Got pretty good at it, haven't I? Yeah, it's almost second nature. We're excluding human killers and animals gone amok, though. Of course, given that we might be discussing some creature feature origin stories and motivations here, a mild spoiler alert <laughs> might also be in order. Remember, you chased those brats. Almost got them, and we almost. Don't you have another chance? Number 10, Lipstick Face Demon, Insidious. It's not the house that's haunted. It's your son. There are a lot of monsters in the insidious world, but this one just might scare us the most. I can still hear that voice. This red-faced entity is one of the most memorable villains from this first installment of the Insidious franchise, as it's a frightening example of exactly what terrors are lurking in the further, an astral plane where lost, dead souls are forced to wander. The lipstick face demon was played by Joseph Bashara, but with its bright red skin and deep-set frightening eyes, it's honestly tough to distinguish any human features from the horrific otherworldly nightmare. Daddy! Number 9, Mutant Baby, Eraserhead. Oh, you are sick. Nightmarish and surreal, this body horror flick from visionary director David Lynch has been haunting the dreams of audiences for years. Thanks largely in part to the presence of this iconic movie creature. <laughs> the baby from Eraserhead is often seen as reflective of protagonist Harry Spencer's fear of sex and fatherhood. Sickly, screaming, and misshapen, it's a mutated being barely recognizable as humanoid, and it serves as one of the most memorably frightening effects in film history. That's impossible. Number 8, Pazuzu, The Exorcist. Where's Reagan? In here with us. As one of the most disturbing and iconic horror films of all time, The Exorcist has haunted the dreams of moviegoers for decades. One of the reasons for this is the movie's equally legendary antagonist, Pazuzu. You know what she did? <laughs> Your c***ing daughter! This demon starts out with the name Captain Howdy, when it's the imaginary friend of Linda Blair's Regan McNeil. But it isn't long before Pazuzu's true colors are shown. You really don't want me to play, huh? No, I do. Captain Howdy said no. Through its violent and perverse possession of Reagan, we are eventually led to the climactic exorcism scene. It's the power of Christ that compels you. The power of Christ compels you! And, although we only get a couple of brief glimpses of Pazuzu during the film, the character's impact would go on to influence countless horror fans and filmmakers in the years to come. I'm Damien Carras. And I ain't that devil! Number 7, Pumpkinhead, Pumpkinhead. God damn you, God damn you. He already has, son. As a tool of vengeance for distraught father Ed Harley after the death of his son, the titular Pumpkinhead is a clawed and malevolent demon with a thirst for blood. In this debut directorial feature from legendary special effects artist Stan Winston, veteran character actor Lance Henriksen plays Harley. Can't you stop this? Can't you call it off? Nothing can call it off. But I'm gonna send it back to whatever hell it come from. But it's the pumpkin head design that is the standout, as an example of Winston's infamous practical and imaginative creature design. The physically imposing Halloween Beast has also helped the film itself gain fans some 20 plus years after its initial release. Oh 
I'm the one you want! Number six, humanoid crawlers, The Descent. Hey, there's something down here. Hope you're not afraid of the dark or dark caves, because that's exactly where you'll find these next movie monsters, which prey upon you when you're most vulnerable. They're totally blind. And judging from what we've seen, I'd say they use sound to hunt with. Director Neil Marshall's The Descent was a nerve-wracking exercise in tension even before these humanoid crawlers show up, thanks to a plot that has a group of young women spelunking in pitch-black, close-quartered caves. <laughs> when the creatures do surface, however, all survival bets are off, and Marshall's film enters true monster movie territory. <laughs> These hideously malformed, human-like cousins of the vampire bat are bound to give you nightmares for weeks. <laughs> Number 5. Brundlefly, the fly. I'm afraid! Don't be afraid! No. Be afraid. Be very afraid. David Cronenberg has managed to gross us out and freak us out as the master of body horror cinema for over 40 years. Yet this film might just be the man's greatest legacy. I know an old lady who swallowed a fly, perhaps she'll die. The Brundle fly exists as the result of a tragic accident which befalls scientist Seth Brundle. As his experiments in teleportation go horribly awry, his DNA is combined with that of a common housefly. Oh. <sighs> That's disgusting. Although the mutation initially gives Brundle super strength, agility, and endurance, it isn't long before the scientist's body begins to become more fly than human. <laughs> Devolving deeper and deeper into a horrific hybrid that has Brundle literally begging for extinction. We'll be the ultimate family. A family of three joined together in one body. More human than I am alone. Number 4. Pennywise, It. Kiss me, fat boy! Those suffering from coolrophobia, which is an uncharacteristic fear of clowns, should probably avoid contact with this next creature, as it's an evil, fear-mongering entity that decides to take residence upon Earth as Pennywise the Dancing Clown. Hey, excuse me, sir! Do you have Prince Albert in a can? You do! Well, you better let the poor guy out! In this film adaptation of author Stephen King's classic story, Pennywise is portrayed with vicious glee by actor Tim Curry. Hi, Georgie. Aren't you going to say hello? Brandishing sharpened teeth and a piercing stare guaranteed to chill the bones of just about anyone. Not just those suffering from coolrophobia, the sadistic serial killer not only knows all of your deepest fears, but he can shapeshift as well. So no matter what form it takes, it is sure to be terrifying. See you in your dreams. Oh, come back anytime. Bring your friends. Number three, Pale Man, Pan's Labyrinth. So sports. Oh, this is really sad. Director Guillermo del Toro has a wild and fertile imagination when it comes to his animated creatures. Yet very few have disturbed or frightened us more than the Pale Man from the Spanish-Mexican fantasy Pan's Labyrinth. As part of the second task assigned to young Ophelia by the mysterious Fawn character, the Pale Man is a child-consuming monster that noiselessly presides over a feast. Iréis a un lugar muy peligroso. Tened cuidado. Lo que ahí dormita no es humano. Ophelia is warned by her fairy companions not to touch or eat anything in the Pale Man's lair, lest she risk disrupting the menacing creature. Unfortunately, the curious young girl can't help herself and steals two grapes. This releases the blind Pale Man from his position, after which it shockingly grabs two eyeballs from the table and raises them to its horrifying face so that it may chase after the disobedient little girl. It's a legendary scene that stands as a cornerstone of Del Toro's film. Number 2. The Alien, also known as the Xenomorph, the Alien franchise. 
Is there anything more frightening than an intelligent, relentless, hateful killing machine from outer space? Get away from her, you bitch! We didn't think so. That's bullshit. You still don't understand what you're dealing with, do you? The xenomorphs are an alien species that's been hunting for human hosts since their big screen debut in director Ridley Scott's 1979 sci-fi horror classic Alien. Perfect organism. Its structural perfection is matched only by its hostility. And who continue to fascinate us with appearances in film, video games, and comics to this day. Move it! It's jammed! The xenomorphs have acid for blood, sharp claws, and a tendency to impregnate their human victims with smaller larvae, which then burst through the host's stomach hours later. Ah! with an existence dedicated only to hunting, killing, and serving their queen. Is it any wonder that these not-so-friendly aliens are so scary? Who are you expecting, Santa Claus? Before we reveal our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. John Carpenter would cement his reputation as one of cinema's true masters with this legendary reimagining of 1951's The Thing from Another World. Look there. Half the compass is in a spin. Geiger's up to the top. In this sci-fi horror, a group of researchers located in a remote Antarctic outpost are terrorized by a smart and malevolent alien life form that's able to take on the appearance of anyone or anything. I don't know what the hell's in there. It's weird and pissed off, whatever it is. Paranoia and tension take over from this point, as mistrust and murder lead up to some stellar, iconic special effects work from Rob Bottin and Stan Winston. <laughs> The less said about this one, the better. If you haven't seen the thing, then buckle yourself in for one terrifyingly scary ride. Let's go, Bennings. I gotta get some sleep. Agree with our list? What other movie monsters terrify you? For more scary good top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.